So PS5 boot ROM keys have leaked and early January hackers discovered and publicly released the PlayStation 5 bootloader keys. These hardware level encryption keys allow the console's secure boot sequence to be decrypted. And genuinely, a lot of us may just be like, well, what does that mean? Why, why is this a big deal? Well, I'm gonna tell you why it matters. So the PS5's firmware checks the integrity of the system during startup. By decrypting that firmware, hackers could theoretically modify the operating system, install custom firmware, or run unlicensed games. Tech journalists describe this as the first real step toward a full PS5 jailbreak. So we're not there just yet, but it is of substantial value still because it opens a door to some other things that Sony most certainly will not like, but those people who love the homebrew stuff and hacking the consoles are, are going to have a field day with eventually. But let's talk about what this doesn't mean because there is some misinformation being spread around about this. Ordinary users can't suddenly pirate games. The leak provides the cryptographic pieces, but building a working jailbreak still requires exploiting other vulnerabilities. It is noted that the leak could enable custom firmware and homebrew apps in the future, but that it does not translate to an immediate easy to use jailbreak. So it isn't doom and gloom yet, at least as far as Sony's concerned but it is a step in the, the direction that they don't want. 